someone sent to us this HP laptop that has got an issue with the USB port. It has three USB ports. These two work properly, but then this one of this side does not work properly. The only difference we have detected, this one does not charge and does not transfer data. Right now the battery is down, but we detected this one has an output of 5 volts. It's actually 4 point something. And this one, the output voltage is 4. It's actually 3. 3 volts. That voltage is very little to either charge or transfer data. So today we are going to take you through the process of fixing such a kind of laptop and maybe if you can either do it yourself or you can send it to us and we fix it for you. So this is a simple examination of this laptop USB ports. This laptop has got three USB ports and one of them is faulty. So I'm using this USB meter to test this USB port. One of them, the output, this is the one that is fine, the output is 4.9 volts as you can see in the meter and even when I put a US a charger it does give out some current now we have this one another one the one we are testing is on this side now the one which is faulty is giving out 3.09 volts which is very low and you can see when the lighting is dim and even, even if you put a, a charger does not give out any any current and is not even detected on the laptop. So this is what we are going to fix now. So this is the motherboard we tested and these these two ports were fine so our measurement proved that this one is the one that is faulty so here one of the things i've discovered from this laptop i've powered it on this is the switching mosfet that switches on the, the five volts that comes to to this usb port so when you measure the input is 5 volts can you see from the meter so that is the input then when you measure the base voltage the base voltage is 3.2 volts these are the working usb port then the output the output is 4.9 this laptop doesn't have a BIOS, that's why it is spinning so fast. So these are the working ports. Let's measure the fault one. So this is the, the, UA, the part that is not working. When I measure the output voltage, output voltage is 3. 3.0. When I measure the input, the input is 5. So the input comes in. When I measure the gate voltage is 3.2, which is fine. But the output is still 3 volts, which is not good. So usually the, the power supply that generates these 5 volts is this one. So you can see it has 5 volts. Then it's this 5 volts for the USB port. This shows that this switching MOSFET is not switching. So we are going to replace another one. So let's remove this switching MOSFET. 
Mari kita lihat yang punya So I've been trying to look around in my spares and I cannot find that switch, switching MOSFET. Usually what a MOSFET does is switch on and off so I'm going to make a direct loop. I'm going to make a jumper for the output to the input. It will work fine. The only challenge now is if we have a shot on the USB port, it will come back direct to this power supply. That is what the MOSFET actually protects. It detects whether there is no shot this way, so to turn on or off. But right now it will work very fine. Before replacing the it, I first remove this output capacitor because usually when the voltage is low you have to measure the filtering and the boosting or the storage capacitors so I'm going to first replace it then we shall put it back in the housing and we test it together So not every time that a, a port is not working that you need to replace the port. No, it is not the case. So you must actually have some electronic knowledge in order to diagonalize and fix such an issue. So let me fix it back. We are going to in the housing, then we are going to test together. So I've assembled the laptop. I want to show you that this port is working very fine. So you can see right now, it's giving out. Um, sorry, my camera is not clear in focusing. It's giving out 4.9. I've connected the charger, you see. So let me try to connect the cable into this phone. Do you feel that sound? That shows that it's connected. Yeah, and now the phone is detected on the, on the computer. That was a brief video demonstrating how you can actually test. You can, many of these ports have different faults and those faults come due to different causes. If you can follow the same procedure, you can figure it out. Right now you can see the output current is four. 0.41 amps yeah that's good because my phone is almost 15 percent and the type of cable i'm using so this is the one we have fixed the, the, which was one and these two that we are working are this side so you can still see it's still 4.7 volts yes and then the second one yeah, 4.7, 4.72, 4.3, amps. So, 
Uh, if you have any kind of laptop like this that has an issue that the, the port is the port are not working, the the hard disk is not detected, you can contact us and you can send in your device. We guarantee that we shall successfully fix them.